Will the earth remain forever? Ecclesiastes 1, we read that the earth will remain forever. However, 2 Peter tells us it will pass away. So what is happening here? To understand this supposed contradiction, we must understand the Hebrew word olam, or in the text, let olam. The Hebrew word olam in this text is translated as forever. However, this translation can be confusing for those who do not know the original language, as the word olam is not always definite. As the public commentary notes, the term forever, like in the Greek, does not necessarily imply eternity, but often denotes limited or conditional duration, as when the slave is engaged to serve his master forever in Exodus 21.6. For the hills are called everlasting in Genesis 49.26. This verse gives one instance of growth and decay in concerts with insane continuance. The following verses give further examples, Ecclesiastes 1.4. As the book Cambridge Bible for Schools and Colleges also notes, in the Hebrew word which answers to forever, we have as elsewhere an undefined rather than absolutely infinite duration. This is to say, the Hebrew word olam does not always mean unto eternity, but can be used in a sense as hyperbole.